How do you turn something like this, which is an okay idea, kind of fails in a few ways, into something a hundred times more practical? You do this. I was helicoiling this thermostat housing, which you have probably seen if you have watched my channel because I've done a video on how to install helicoil. But I needed something to hold this. Setting it on toolbox wasn't going to work because it's going to move around a little bit much. So I was looking for a vise. The problem was I didn't want a vise that had to be secured to the table. Something light duty. And I'll put a couple shots of the options at Harbor Freight if you're in the market for a vise. You either have some like this that are screwed into the tabletop somehow. You got ones like these that are like a C-clamp version, but you need to have access to underneath the table in order to secure it. And then we have this guy. Now I was a little bit intrigued by this vacuum base part, but this isn't why I bought it. Let me open it up and show you what it looks like. It had a piece of clear packing tape on it. So I think it might have been used and returned. I'm not 100% on that. It looks fine to me, so I don't really care. But when you go to Harbor Freight, that's a possibility. Pull it out of the box. Get rid of the box. You got an owner's manual, which you're not ever gonna read, so there you go. And what you have here is the articulated jaws of your vise, vacuum base, and then you lock the articulation section down. And then from that point, it's just a little vise. Now when I say little, I mean little. The whole thing is only seven inches off the tabletop. The jaws themselves are only two and three quarters inch wide, and they only open up to, let's see if it falls out. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I haven't tried that before. Let me put this back in there. I'll give it like one turn so that you know you would have some grip on there. So they're only about two and three quarters inches wide and it only opens up to about two and a half inches. So you can't hold anything big in here. I understand that. I needed to drill these little holes here. So I opened them just wide enough to hang on to the part and then clamped it down. And you know what, for my application, it worked pretty well. You tighten up the articulation base you can really pull on this thing and not worry about the actual base moving. Now the part is moving in the jaws, but that's mainly because I don't have it super tight and it has these rubber protectors on it. So it will slip a little bit, but it's good so you don't mar up your part. But the actual design of it is pretty slick. I wanted something I could sit on the top of the toolbox and not really have to worry about it falling over all that easily. If you look at a regular vise, if I set this thing on the table and push down on it, it's going to tip over because it's, the center of gravity is more towards the front, I think anyway. This one, if I really wanted to, I could loosen the base a little bit and even tilt it upwards. Right? I like that feature of it. The only real gripe I have with it is the suction base. Now, it's made by Central Machinery, and it's like $22. You know, don't expect anything super fancy with this. But I would have really preferred it if this base, instead of being triangular and suction cup mounted, if it was maybe just a little bit bigger, had a bigger foot so that it wouldn't tilt over as easily, or maybe even just a square base instead of a triangle. The other problem is, as you see here, this is not gonna suction to anything. In the previous video, I did manage to get it to suction, to this piece of plastic, and that does help the stability, but by the end of the video, it had come unstuck. The base is about six inches on every side of the triangle, so it will fit in a variety of areas, and I hear what you're saying. Maybe you don't have a protective cover on your toolbox. Maybe you just have it painted, or a work surface. Will it work on that? Yes, absolutely. And it does a great job at that too. I just don't have that many flat surfaces that are so flat, like glass, painted metal, something like that, that it would actually stick to. Maybe you want to put it on your coffee table while you're watching TV. Or change the batteries in the remote. I don't know. Maybe your idea of a good time is drilling a piece of wood on the side of your house in nature. I really have no idea why it has a suction cup. Maybe you guys can send me some good uses for this thing in the comments. So of course that got my creative juices flowing. Can you separate this and or how hard would it be to modify? 
So you have your steel ball. I think that's steel. Yep. Then your little coupler, and that thing is gonna lock it down. This piece doesn't really wanna come off all that easily, but you do have a cotter pin in there holding it together. See that thing? Now a lot of you know, you give a guy a tool, he can be pretty dangerous. I'll set this to the side. Put that cotter pin out. I'm thinking, and I was correct, but now you have your suction base plate thing and a pretty good mount that you could attach to a block of wood of your liking. So if you wanted to, you could just get rid of this thing and then build your own base. Or as I had thought, now that there's no moving pieces in here, maybe get a couple of big magnets, create a base of magnets so you could actually stick it onto your toolbox with a protector and it not go anywhere. Actually, without Flippy here, it's a lot more solid. I mean, yes, it still wants to tip over a bit, but if you kind of orientate the jaw with one corner, it's not bad at all. That's good enough for what most of us are gonna use it for. I don't know if I'll put this back on or not. I don't think I will. I only used it as a tabletop vice anyway. I think this guy is out. So what I've done here is mounted the vise onto this piece of wood and then mounted these magnetic tool holder strips onto that. And now she's real solid. It takes a lot of effort to get this thing off. Of course, it'll be the strongest if you're going that way. It does tip over to the side a bit, but it certainly takes a lot more effort than it used to. This way is super solid. I could probably roll the whole toolbox around with that. This means you can now orientate it any way you want and not have to worry about it slipping. Got a slack adjuster here. They're not super heavy, but they do have quite a bit of weight to them. And if I lock it down in this orientation, she's good. I wouldn't want to do too much pulling and pushing on it like that, but with that much weight offset, this base is a way better approach. I will probably modify this a bit. These strips are a little bit long. They are now to 18 and a half inches, whereas before it was just six. So maybe if I can find some shorter ones, I'll modify it. But as you can see, this idea is what it should have been. Securely mounted, stuck onto the something metal. Don't have to worry about a perfectly flat surface for the suction base. Just giving you some options. I mean, this is a good little vise. If you have questions on the build or the dimensions of the piece of wood. I just eyeball this stuff when I'm making my things. Y'all have probably seen that already. I don't do a ton of pre-measuring like I should, but whatever, that's half the fun. Leave a comment down below if you have this vise, if you like this vise, and what you use it for, especially if you have the suction thing on because I'm quite curious about that. All in all, it's a nice little unit. It did a great job for what I needed it to for a $20 tabletop vise. It's great. So it's worth a buy. I will say that. It's $20, so it's worth the gamble. It's Harbor Freight, so you can always take it back if you need to, just save that receipt. I just thought it was an interesting idea. It worked perfectly for my needs. Your mileage may vary. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.